everyone, I'm Kelly. Thanks for coming by my channel and watching this video. As you can see, the Sudoku quilt is back. I went over to my long armor across the street and picked it up yesterday, and I hid it in the guest room cupboard because my mom and dad came over for dinner last night. I will give you a close-up of this just so you can see how the quilting... I double-checked the measurement. The quilt is 60 and one-half inches square. And for all the thread geeks out there, my long armor generally uses glide. This color on the top is titanium, and she used like a basket weave type pattern to just to give it a bit of movement. And on the back, it's a bit harder to see, but this color is lead gray. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer. Hold on. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit lighter, so it kind of blends into the green batik a bit better. I dug out seven darker gray jelly roll strips. Um, it should be about 275 inches by the time I have them sewn together. That is more than sufficient to go around the edge of the quilt. I might not even need to use the seventh one, but I'll, I'll put it on there and just see how it goes. I'm going to do all of the binding by machine. I'm going to sew it onto the back and then flip it around and sew it down on the front with this Aurifil Gray. The color is 5004, and it will be just another gray because when you do it by machine, around the back you can see the stitching, so it looks like another line of quilting just around the inside edge of the quilt, sort of, and it'll look fine with the other grays. I'm using my phone here so you can see it a bit closer. I did a basting yesterday just to try to see if my idea would work for the binding. Now, it's two and a half inches because I used a jelly roll. So when I sewed it on the back, I used a three eighths inch seam allowance, which you can just kind of see the three eighths line there, which coincidentally is basically the edge of my walking foot. So when I flip the uh, binding around to the front, like I'm doing right now, you can see right there. That's the gray orophil from my line of sewing on the other side. And this is the titanium glide that Beatrice, my long armor, used. So most of the time when I'm flipping it over, like so, it does cover up the line of stitching. But it's not all the way perfect all the way across. Now, if it happens to show, it just looks like more quilting. Like there's a little bit of quilting showing. It's really hard to tell what's supposed to be there and what's not supposed to be there, which is one of the reasons why I was using gray. And if you can kind of see it, I'm going to move the phone up a little bit. When I'm sewing this down, it's a pretty good gray too. It blends in quite well with the binding. But you can see there a little bit of the, the stitching is showing because it, it's hard to get that bumpy piece of binding all the way over. But whatever. It's really hard to tell unless you look real close. Most of the time, when I do machine binding, I use the color in the bobbin of the backing. But none of the green thread I had was working with this green batik. It was too limey or too dark or whatever. So, the gray is fine. This is the stitching line of me sewing the binding on the front. So, sometimes it's off. Sometimes I actually caught it. It just sort of depends how it goes. You can kind of see there's the corner. It shows on the green. It it just looks like pretty much another line of quilting, provided you can even see it. Which is kind of why I went with the 3 8 because I figured it would be pretty much the closest all the way around. And get me, maybe not 100% accurate, but enough to suit what I wanted it to do. This is the light green fabric from the Sudoku blocks. And I'm going to use it to make the label. I think it will look nice on the back with the green batik. If you would like to see how I make labels, please go in my quilting playlist. And the very last video for the Layer Chops quilt shows how to do labels. Or how I do labels, anyway. Thank you, honey, for holding it. There we go, everybody. It's done. I had to get rid of Ferris because he was barking. All finished. Ready to go. Yeah, we know you're just a baby, Ferris. 